The game of ping pong or table tennis was invented in the 1880s and it grew in popularity in the U.S. in the mid-1900s. Ping pong is still popular today even here in Springfield where the Ozarks Table Tennis Club gathers twice a week to play the grand old game. It's a healthy sport, a low impact sport, and it's a sport I think if you ask any of these players is a tremendous amount of fun to play. Bill Lewis is the president of the club and my personal coach for the evening. The art of playing ping pong, what are some keys that every good player has mm -hmm. to know to be able to be good at? You have to have a good serve to be in with and you have to learn good serve, good forehand serve, good backhand serve, and be able to return good serve. These are yeah. really spongy, they're real thick. Does that right. help with the spin eye and that? It does, it does. It makes that ball rebound into the back side of that paddle and when it comes back out, it's gonna take right off. While the club welcomes all experience levels, the man at the top, is Dr. Shang Li, a classically trained ping pong player from Taiwan. Just a little slower, Dr. Li. There you go. Just slow her down just a little bit, Dr. Li. There you go, there you go. And Dr. Li's got some mojo on that ball. <laughs> Although destroyed by Dr. Li, I did learn the true key to mastering the art of ping pong, practice. It's a fairly easy sport to, to learn and to play once you get yourself committed to playing. You're naturally gonna get, like say, better over time. And maybe you'll even luck into scoring a point on someone much better than you. That's a good hit. That's one of them. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> Over the past decade, the popularity of mixed martial arts has gone through the roof. <laughs> putting fans on the edge of their seats as they await each big hit. This huge knockout power in this sport. You got light gloves, um, you have big Muay Thai kicks, and um, it's power, all power in here. But MMA isn't just about power. Fighters also use submissions. Obviously, one of the keys to this sport is submissions, getting people to tap out. What's the key to doing that? The key to getting the submissions is getting the fight to the ground. That, yeah, that, that's effective. I sit up, spin. Pull that arm bar. And I am done. Wrap this neck up. And it's good night from it's here. It's good night correct? pretty close. <laughs> I got this shoulder on a scrotted. I've got my leg on a scrotted. <laughs> I try to keep people off my carotid if possible. <laughs> the sport requires an incredible amount of training. And training in a lot of different areas. Boxing or kickboxing or jujitsu or wrestling. It takes night in day in, <laughs> night out. It's a life. It's your lifestyle. Lacking the training to hang with fighters like AJ Van Camp, I looked for an opponent who might offer a fair fight. And I may have just found him. I want you, Warner. Then again, maybe not. Matt Warner, KSPR Sports. At some point, all of us as kids use sticks or other objects to take part in mock sword fights. It was much the same for Nick Evangelista, who at a young age was first attracted to the sport of fencing. Like most kids, I, I, I grew up watching old swashbuckler movies on TV, and, and I always wanted to fence. He began learning the art of fencing at the age of 20, and now 41 years later, he's a fencing master, even now teaching classes out of his Springfield home. Oh, to excel in fencing, you have to have a sense of self, you have to have a sense of focus, be willing to get in there and, and, and mix it up. But would I be able to mix it up with the master? First, I'd need a few tips. Retreat, retreat, advance, advance. Okay, you're in a fencing lunge. I feel like I'm lunging. <laughs> Getting dressed is actually the hardest part of learning defense. Perry Cart, Perry, and there we go. After a quick training session, it was time for the master to face the pupil. Oh, got me. And the pupil didn't stand a chance. Oh, got me. <laughs> I think he'd have killed me by now. <laughs> <laughs> Although treated like a pin cushion, I just got owned. <laughs> it was easy to see why fencing is such an enjoyable sport. It's exciting, it's good exercise, and it's just really, really fun. It's just a fascinating activity. Oh, 